this is the truth about people who travel abroad and come back home that no one talks about currently in ghana and i'm enjoying it here even though i barely go out i realized that moving to ghana i've become introverted i've always been introverted a bit introverted let's just say i've been an ambivert but in ghana i tend to be more introverted for that i'm eating this in katia burger but ghanians call it in katia burger i completed my electives in the uk moved to australia for another elective did that went back to the uk for my stuff and then i found myself in ghana i made videos but the phone just gave up on me and i had not backed up so i lost everything i moved to ghana did my internship for six months six good months at the hospital it was a whole learning experience altogether because i was dealing with so many things all at once like dealing with the new environment dealing with the way things are done in ghanian hospitals which is like so different from the way things are done outside i was also dealing with how to socialize with people more it was difficult for me blending myself in the whole like system or trying to talk to people at the hospital well i had no problem talking to the patients my problem was interacting with the doctors the house of said first to rotation i was not so happy every day i come back home i want to come up with an excuse not to go to work the following day it was my mom who was pushing me to go to work at some point i felt like i had lost the passion for the job i just didn't know myself anymore i didn't know why i was doing what i was doing i just felt so lonely let me put it that way it's like yeah in a new country you see the people at the hospital they are all in groups they all have their friends but then you don't fit in even if you try to fit in you just don't fit in this is the truth about people who travel abroad and come back home that no one talks about i was trying to navigate the whole work thingy find my way around and well i failed several times i made a couple of friends though i wouldn't say friends because we we are not in touch a few that i already knew but i was not in the same rotation as them so i didn't really get to hang out with them when i got to ghana too i found out that most of my friends had either relocated or others were working so it was quite difficult to hang out with them you come back and you realize that things are not the way you thought they were gonna be it's like everything has changed all well, the facilities and the environment still look the same but everything in terms of your friendships your relations like everything has changed. that's something i had to learn the hard way with all this going on i really didn't see the need to come back on youtube because i was dealing with my social life i was dealing with my emotional life i was dealing with work life like every single thing school life i had like a lot of things going on exams and all that so i just didn't feel i should come back to youtube for that period i felt i should rather focus on the things i'm doing right now instead of bringing out phone a phone to record my work experience aside that i had also lost all the videos that i took from um uk australia it was quite difficult coming back to social media because i didn't want to start all over again and i didn't know how to just fit my whole life into the story i was trying to create on youtube i don't know if you guys get me also the fact that i was off social media for a very long time it's addictive once you stop being online for a very long time you no longer feel like coming back so for my third rotation that was when things started changing my new department it would have been the same story as the previous ones because well i was also dealing with imposter syndrome yes so while going through all that that phase i was fortunate enough to have my friend who was doing house house job um come to my department so that was where everything changed i started socializing more fortunately for me in my team there was this school doctor that kept encouraging me so he's also he was also a house of staff so he was always telling me to act like i belonged it was more of him encouraging me to actually do my best and feel like i'm part of them so that was where i actually started socializing with them to the point where i even did like a whole 24 hours with them on like three different occasions i wasn't one to do night shift but for that particular department i joined them for night shift mainly because i just like their company 
and also it was interesting to see the night cases like one time where somebody had the uh, postpartum hemorrhage like it was interesting to see that case considering the person was like um a youth a young person it wasn't an elderly person so it was interesting so you get to see interesting cases in the night although it's not interesting for the house of but for medical students it's interesting so in my four departments i was able to fit in and it was even fun i really enjoyed my four departments way more than i even did for my third department and for the fourth department too i met um another house officer who was really nice last but one department was wasn't so good i didn't really like it because well the doctors did not really have time to teach but it's understandable so that was it for the hospital rotation finally a graduate so i graduated from medical school so let's just see how things unfold some people asked me how to get an elective in the uk and australia i made some videos on them but i love them so i'm going to remake those videos and post them on this channel Put it touch to the guy.